Welcome, Ukraine war updates today. Zelensky defiant as Russia unleashes massive missile strike, US sanctions Russian mercenary group. Russia launched what the head of Ukraine's armed forces called massive missile strikes Thursday, as Moscow hurled 55 air and sea-based missiles at targets including the capital Kiev. Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky said his country had defeated Russia's attempt to intimidate it through the attacks. The attacks come after the US and Germany's momentous decision Wednesday to send battle tanks to Ukraine. Now, talk has turned to the possible supply of other firepower, mainly fighter jets. Zelensky thanked Kiev's allies for supplying tanks, but said he had asked NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg for more assistance. We have to unlock the supply of long-range missiles to Ukraine, it is important for us to expand our cooperation in artillery, we have to achieve the supply of aircraft to Ukraine. And this is a dream. And this is a task, he said in his nightly address. Ukraine has made no secret that it would like to receive fighter jets, such as the US F-16s, from its allies to help it fight Russia. An advisor to Ukraine's defense ministry says on Thursday that Ukraine is determined to get fighter jets from its allies. Meanwhile, the Biden administration announced fresh sanctions targeting groups that support the Russian war effort, including paramilitary firm Wagner Group. Japan on Friday announced additional sanctions in response to Moscow's latest actions in Ukraine, banning exports to Russia of key strategic goods and freezing assets of dozen individuals. Japan will prohibit Russia-bound shipments of goods that can be used to enhance military capability, including semiconductor equipment and components, robots, power generators, explosives and vaccines, according to the Trade Ministry. The new export ban will take effect on February 3, it said. Japan also froze assets of an additional three entities and 22 individuals in Russia and 14 pro-Moscow individuals related to the annexation of the southeastern Ukraine region. For months, Wagner has been locked in a bloody battle of attrition to take the towns of Bakhmut and Soldar in Ukraine's eastern Donetsk region. Western and Ukrainian officials have said it is using convicts as cannon fodder to overwhelm Ukraine's defenses. Videos and photographs of the graves first appeared on social media channels in the Krasnodar region in December. Reuters geolocated these images to the Bakinskia Cemetery and reviewed satellite imagery of the site from Maxer Technologies and Capella Space. Satellite pictures show that the Wagner plot was empty in the summer, had three rows of graves by the end of November and was three-quarters full by early January. Virtually the entire plot was used by January 24. The Pentagon said that it has not seen any indications that Russia intends to use a nuclear weapon in Ukraine following Kremlin threats that the West has accelerated tensions by supplying Kiev with tanks. We've heard these comments before and we do take these threats seriously, Deputy Pentagon spokeswoman Sabrina Singh said during a daily press briefing. We've seen no indication that Russia intends to use a nuclear weapon, she said. She added that the U.S. would not be dissuaded from providing Ukraine with the weapons and equipment that it needs. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky took a defiant tone after Moscow unleashed fresh missile strikes on his country, insisting Kiev will defeat a Russian invasion nearing its one-year mark. Another attempt by a terrorist state to intimidate us with a massive missile strike has recently been defeated, just as the whole of Russia will soon be defeated, he said in a post on his Telegram account, according to an NBC News translation. Russia launched missiles at various targets in Ukraine and a strike the head of Ukraine's armed forces called Massive, 